how can I inspire your creativity today? How can I help you? And how can I serve you? I hope I'm on screen. I hope I'm on camera. <laughs> I never know. I can't look at myself while I'm talking to you because if I do that, then I get all confused and I start, start doing crazy things. So I have this crazy idea that if I show others that I am not afraid to try something new that I saw somewhere out there or in a book, it might help you to try new things too. Does this resonate with you? Are you not afraid to try? I'm not. So, dreamers and to doers, that's what we're doing here. The did 22 hashtag is all about contagious creativity. And the more people who join in, the more fun and the more growth that we're all going to have. So I just, I am so excited about this. If you know someone who might want to play along with us, please invite them in and ask them to come over and join us. So I'm going to start with my Sunday confession. The first confession I have to make this week is, is more like a question. Do you think I'm an art fraud? That's one of those negative kind of voices that you can have in your head if you're an artist. And mine is because I'm mostly self-taught. I don't have a degree in art. I've studied with some amazing artists and crafters over the years, but I don't have that really formal training. My background is from the decorative painting world. And by that, I mean murals and faux finishes, trompe l'oeil, stenciling, wood graining, that sort of thing. I studied with French and Italian masters to hone my craft. And I did what I loved for very many years. Then one day I broke my back. And it became really evident that I was never going to be climbing scaffolding or ladders anymore. So I reinvented myself and I started teaching others to do what I had learned on my path, on my journey. And as a surprise to me and to a lot of people who know me, I found that I loved sharing and seeing others grow and blossom in their art. If my students can become better than me, that is a win as far as I'm concerned. So now I'm not a master of arts and crafts by any means, but I am willing to try. I'm a fairly good muralist and I'm a joyful book maker, <laughs> at least. However, there's one thing that I do feel like I am most connected with and I am a master of, and that is creativity and creative thinking. So really all I have to offer you is to open up contagious creativity for all of us. And that's what I want to do this year. Dreamers into Doers 2020 is all about exploration, exploring new things. Most days, what the videos that I'm making will show is a wild and crazy boho art lady playing with a new concept or a tool or idea. That's it. That's what I'm doing. It's kind of like an experimental playtime for me. I'm just a dreamer exploring all kinds of new things this year. I am by no means presenting myself as the be-all, end-all, know-it-all of all this stuff. So when you join me on the videos, you're going to see mistakes and blobs and boo-boos and, and opportunities to do something new. That's what exploration in a creative space is all about. It's about layers of learning. 
building one upon another and forming something very special. So do I know what I'm doing? To be perfectly honest with you, mostly no. But I do have a spark of an idea that I want to dig into. Sometimes it's messy. Sometimes it just flows outward. Sometimes I create something beautiful. And sometimes it just flops. And I'm inviting you to watch all that this year. It's all about learning and doing and practicing and developing a creative practice. I'm going to keep saying that over and over again. By the end of this year, at the end of my 366 videos that I'm going to make, I want to really know what my creative practice is. But more than that, I want you to know what your creative practice is. So you will notice that my they're recorded live and they're very little edited videos that I'm showing and sharing with you. I, I, I just want you to see that I'm a person who's on a pilgrimage of searching and learning and growing. And I hope that shows you that I am trying. I'm taking one small step every day in the direction of my dreams. <laughs> and oh, those dreams. I have a whole lot of them. But instead of whiling away the hours daydreaming, I am committed to one thing this year. Doing. 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 Taking just one often faltering step each and every day this year. Just promising 20 minutes, 20 minutes, that's all we have to do. And doing it, doing. Remember when I confessed that I suck at doing? Yep. Well, this is day 19. Thought it was day 20, but it's really day 19. I have completed 19 videos for you. My mission is to serve you, to inspire you, and to help you. But I need your help too. So I am asking you to please tell me what you want and what you need from me on this journey. And tell me in the comments below this, either on Instagram or on Facebook. Just let me know what it is that you need from me and what you want to see, what you want to explore, what you want to do. That's exactly what contagious creativity looks like. You helping me, helping others, helping each other. That's what we're doing here. I want more than anything for you to find a community of creators who are working on their practice just as hard as you're working on yours. I want us to be contagious with each other and expand our creativity and grow together. Grow together. That's my deepest desire for this. And I've worked a little bit this weekend on my um, on my website. <laughs> Sorry, got distracted. Uh, and I'm hoping that it's going to give you some of those things because I needed to create a printable for you this week. And I'm going to be telling you more about that next week. Uh, in this same time slot on next Sunday evening, I'm going to be telling you more about what's coming up in the future. But I am going to leave a link to um, a printable, the printable of the matchbook folding thing that we were playing with yesterday on the Creativa in Facebook tonight. Or you can go to RebeccaEParsons.com and click the little link on the slideshow and that will take you to the page, hopefully, that will take you to the page where you can find this freebie template printable 
Okay, I'm yacked enough about that. But anyway, I'm excited about developing this because there's some new things I'm going to do because I'm really taking a look at this as we go on through the days, really taking a look at what I'm doing and trying to get a little bit more organized and trying to get a little more structure, if you will, but it's Rebecca's kind of structure. It's not really structure as the normal sense of the word, but anyway, that's all for later. So this, the theme for this week is participating. And I told you yesterday that I was going to talk about, um, participation trophies. And while I was writing that, I got into this not afraid to try stuff. So I really wanted to bring that out today. So the participating and the participating is going to be all this week. We're going to be participating in our own practices, but we are also going to do the participation trophies talk next week. I promise we will do that. So I want you to invite others that you know who might be interested to join us. Help spread the word about contagious creativity, if you will. I will be happy, and I think a lot of you will be too. Are you ready? Are you ready to participate 20 minutes a day? I hope so. Until tomorrow then, happy creating and may joy be with you all. See you 